If you're looking for an SSD in the market, this is the Kingston UV300 and in this video, I'll give you a small overview about it. I'll tell you how to set it up and do a quick benchmark. Kingston claims that the UV300 SSDs can do read speeds up to 550 Mbps and write speeds up to 490 Mbps. This is the main reason why I would recommend this product to anyone who is looking to buy an SSD. You would say there are better performing SSDs out there. Yes, but not at this price. This thing retails for about 5,500 rupees, and for that price, there really isn't any competition to it. I like the price to performance ratio this thing offers. These SSDs are available in the 120, 240, and 480 gigabit variants. Sadly, there is no 960 or 1 TB variant. The SSD is based on a DLC NAND memory. The interface used is SATA 3.0 and the controller used is Siphon S10. The operating range is from 0 to 70 degrees Celsius. Out of the box, this thing weighs about 52 grams and is 7mm thin. The only drawback I would say of this product would be that they don't provide any screws for mounting. They do provide a bracket which can increase the thickness to 9mm for a perfect fit and a laptop or a mount. Once you're done physically installing the SSD, your OS won't detect it directly. You just need to set it up using this management tool in Windows or Disk Utility in Mac. Windows users can follow the guide in the video. You can choose number of partitions, the format and the other stuff. Once the formatting is done, we have our SSD up and running. Now let's do a quick benchmark. For those of you wondering what these are, the first one is the sequential read and write and the other three are random access, which means the software randomly reads and writes data all over the hard disk. I am amazed by the results, but nothing unexpected. This thing actually holds up pretty well. For comparison, check out the difference between my Sandy C400 and this. Mind you, the C400 is in a different form factor but a lot pricey too. Anyways, if you want to buy this or look at other alternatives, check the links in the description below. And if you like the video, please do subscribe.